told to stand here. Okay. All right. <laughs> I've been told to stand behind them. Uh, <laughs> so I don't have pieces of paper, so I'm going to use my phone. Oh. Um, okay. Is that so okay? Mm -hmm. yep. It's not too offensive. Damn it, battery. <laughs> no, it's all right. 83%. Excellent. We're good. <laughs> but it is a long speech. <laughs> Speak up, okay. I made a terrible joke and Owen laughed. That's how we started the speech. Uh, I just want to say, what, mirror what everybody else, not mirror, just copy what everyone else has said. Um, thank you everyone to the families, the bride and groom, for, for this wonderful day. And it's been, so I feel honoured to be a part of it. Really is a privilege. And um, thank you, for, it sounds like Fran's done most of the work, so, is that what we're saying? <laughs> so thank you Fran for that. But I know Owen's done some, of, some work um, towards this, if you've seen the, uh, the touch screen thing, is it out there? Sorry. Touch screen thing? So Owen was sending me code, because we're both computer programmers, so we're discussing that. Um, so yeah, Owen did his best to make your wedding experience <laughs> stylish, simple, and, I don't know, sim simple, yeah. <laughs> um, that wasn't supposed to be the joke. But was good. Um, yeah, so thank you. So, if you don't mind, I'll tell everyone the story of when we first met. Sure. Is that good? Okay. Can't think, there's nothing bad to do with that, it's not embarrassing. I Hopefully it is. Because <laughs> I think that's yeah. supposed to be my job, right? I just yeah. tell a couple of stories yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I'll, I'll try and remember this the best I can. So um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Andy, I'm one of the best men, and James is the other one. Yeah. And um, back home in Lincolnshire, I, <laughs> and I'm in the US now as well, so I moved, but previously when me and Owen first met, I was back in Lincolnshire. I, I'm a musician, so I was performing at a local pub, and uh, my songs were going over pretty well. Let's say that. We're going over well. Um, but someone in the corner was, seemed to, I couldn't figure out what their reaction was to what I was doing. And they were quite a menacing figure. <laughs> because they were dressed all in black, lots of leather, zips, new rock boots. <laughs> And so I'd never met anyone that dressed like that, that was six foot whatever you are, right? So I was quite afraid. I, I didn't know if my emotional, folky singer-songwriter stuff was going over okay with you. Um, so I didn't know if you were going to stab me later on in the car park for daring to be emotional. But little did I know that Owen is the furthest thing from that kind of person. It's, uh, so by the end of the night, we ended up, the sun had already come up and we were walking through town and we we're laughing and actually I realised earlier today that Simon over there was also walking with us. Did you remember that? I didn't remember that. Simon was there. Too. So hi Simon. <laughs> <laughs> so ended up going back to Owen's parents' house and we drank coffee and talked much earlier in the morning, even though the sun was already coming up, we stayed up even longer. And that ended up, this is an embarrassing story, is it? No. I just said you wore funny clothes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not an embarrassing story, I guess. I don't want to embarrass you. That's the um, fact you made me cry. I, do, I left that bit out. Okay. <laughs> Owen was crying. That's why I thought, I thought he was angry and he was crying into his beer. I thought he was like, oh, I'm going to get that. I'm going to stab him. But, you know, so we ended up at your parents' house, we had some coffee, we chatted until the sun was properly up and I went home to get some sleep. And for the next few years that was kind of our thing. We'd, we'd go out, we'd have some drinks and then we'd end up back at your parents' house, drink coffee and just talk until the sun came up. So that's one of the reasons why I know Owen is going to be a fantastic husband. Because when I needed to talk to someone, and I needed someone to be there for me, Owen always has been. Yeah. <laughs> and whether I just needed someone to listen to me, or tell me that 
I'm a great person, don't worry about it. He always knew what to say. And I know he's always been there for me, so I know he'll always be there for you, and I assume he already is. <laughs> so, let me check my thing. That was, I think I've got more stuff written down. <laughs> <laughs> See if I did paper, it'd be easier. Hang on, um, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> it's better on paper. So, what? It's better on paper. It probably is, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll just read off this, shall I? So, Owen, again, I'm privileged to be able to call you my friend. You've found an amazing person in your beautiful bride, Fran. And I know you'll be happy together for the rest of your lives. And yeah. uh, if you'd all be so kind as to raise your glasses, I'd like to propose a toast to the bride and groom. May the happiness and love that you are both radiating today fill the rest of your lives. You're a wonderful couple, and we are all proud to have you in our lives. To the bride and groom. The bride and groom. Okay, that's it. Thank you.